In this video, we're going to review how now we design our bridge as it's being laid out already using the ABC wizard. So we go to the superstructure tab, precast priestess girders, and uh, a new model shows up. Now you're running Lipridge concrete and the priestess girder model now. Um, on geometry, we don't have much to review. The bridge is already laid out. Uh, on materials, choose up the material properties that we set up already when we created the bridge on the ABC Wizard, unless it needs to be changed. And the only selection that I may need to do is what type of tendon I'm going to use for this project. So let's use that one. And the next step will be to load the bridge. Now to load the bridge we got different options, we can just enter the loads one by one and we have to classify it if it's a composite load or not. Uh, but the easiest way is to use the wizard. So on the wizard you can enter the loads, uh, for example the barrier weight on the left, I got a barrier on the side too, and I got uh, some weighing surface, and this will apply for the entire bridge. So hit OK. So this is for span one, as you can see, but I can say, what about all the other spans? And the software has to charge on classifying uh, if it's a wearing load or a composite load. Uh, this option, mass for RSA, means that these masses that I'm entering, or these loads, are going to be used on the computation of the response spectral analysis if I'm going to do seismic design. Okay. Uh, we can enter more individual loads if I need to. So we can add one, for example, and say it's going to be a composite load on this type, and the type is going to be a point load, trapezoidal load. So we have something extra that I need to add. I just uh, can do it if I don't want it to do it automatically. So let's, let's see if this road where I want to use it. And the trucks are already entered. It's HL93, the standard ones. If you have your own truck, then you can also create one or add the ones that you have in your library. And the next step is of course to perform the analysis. The analysis will be done already using all the limited states that the LRF uh, decode mandate, service 1, service 3, strength 1, fatigue 1. Uh, I can review some of the analysis factors Again, these are the ASHTO standards, unless in your state, in your design code, it's a little bit different. You can modify certain aspects of it. And also on the design parameters, you know, just how you compute the stresses, the limiting stresses, the restraining moments, and some more shear provisions that pertain to the code. Again, if this is not touched, what it comes from default is the standards from the ASHTO code. Uh, we just need to then run the analysis. It runs all the limited states with all these cases. So, strength one, you know, this is the final envelope, unless I want to see a specific low case, you know, for self weight, they can hunch, you know, precast, and all of that. So, the analysis is done and then I can also review the diagrams that it was generated so for the precast moment for all the spans you know composite moment so I can review all of that of course I can print it and in general review the analysis part of it so this is how we analyze the my final geometry on the precast priestess module. Next step will be then to do the beam design. Beam design, uh, these are all the beams in a particular span, right? Uh, so let's take one and say, let's do the strand pattern. The strand pattern, I can just define my own or I can tell the software to auto design it. So I will design the current beam and then I will copy later 
that same design to all the other beams and see if they pass and then they will become the standard beam for that span. Design it, there is some already bonding needed and the design is done. These are the tendons that they're going to use and this is the final report that of course I can print too. Now, if this design I think is going to be good, so then uh, I copy that to all the spans, to all the beams, and that same design will be copied to all the other ones. You know, the design is okay for the one I designed. I can check the second one, third one, fourth one, and the same design is passing, so it could be very well the standard. Now, the shear reinforcement, rebar pattern, and uh, this is what needs to be provided, and uh, this is the part size I'm going to use, auto design it, and this is what the software provide. I wanted to extend it to the deck, yes, yes, on all of them, remember there are 13 beams on that, so, and then copy that same design to all the other beams in all the spans, and we hit OK, and now I have my full beam design in all the spans. As I exit this, remember we're running two modules, so I exit this, yes I want to update my Libridge model, and then when I review the geometry, I can make it uh, transparent mode, and then I can see all the beams and spans that were designed with the tendons and the shear reinforcement. So the next step will be to design the substructure. Thank you for watching this video.